Data from the National Bureau of Statistics, or NBS, shows the China's Consumer Price Index, or CPI, grew 1.5 percent in a year in November, up from a rise of 1.3 percent in October. NBS said the reading was slightly higher than the 1.4 percent increase for the first 11 months. The NBS attributed the rise mainly to rising food prices, as vegetable prices surged 9.4 percent in a year last month. While prices for meat and poultry products rose 6.2 percent, on a monthly basis, consumer prices stayed flat. Vegetable prices rose due to the cold weather. Meanwhile, the prices of the service industry also went up. I think, on the one hand, it has been affected by seasonal factors, and on the other hand, it's caused by the increasing demand in the service industry. But generally speaking, I believe the CPI growth does not go beyond my expectation. Meanwhile, China's foreign trade dropped 4.5 percent in a year to 2.16 trillion yuan, or about 337 billion dollars, in November. Data from the General Administration of Customs, or GAC, showed the level of decline in November significantly contracted when compared with the 9% year-on-year plunge registered in October, helped by increased electrical exports. Experts said low commodity prices, sluggish external and internal demand, were to blame for the trade decline.